Hey guys, so my room looks especially, exceptionally, exceptionally bright today. I don't know why. I, I don't know. But today I'm in a very great mood because I woke up and I saw all these nice comments about my 150 subscribers. Even though it's like 168 now, I was like, oh my goodness. But people are just congratulating and it's just so nice and it makes me feel so good and when people are like yeah you deserve it I'm like oh thank you um are you happy too munchkin my puppy's happy too so because in one of my videos I don't remember which one I asked if you guys wanted to see a bookshelf tour I got many people ask if I wanted to do one so I'm not bragging yes I know I own a lot of books there's over 200 and there's more coming that's what's gonna wait but I was like mm, I'll be doing it in a haul anyway so, it's bookshelf tour day, and I'm going to try and do it all in one video, but if it turns out to be exceptionally long, it will be in two parts, because I have four bookshelves. But I'm going to try to do it all in one, or if I do it in two parts, it will be uploaded side by side. So yeah, um, thanks again for all the support and all the subscriptions. My giveaway is going fantastic, I'm so excited, and... There was something else I was going to say about it, but now I don't remember. So let's get right into the bookshelves. So right off the bat, I have some books on my desk. And these are because these two I'm lending out to somebody I know. So I've got The Timekeeper by Mitch Album and Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. And then under all this, I have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll because that is one that I plan on reading like right away. So that's why it's on my desk, even though it's kind of buried. Then over on my very crowded night table I keep the book I'm currently reading which is Every Day by David Levithan and it is fantastic and that's why I'm rereading it. Hi Munchkin! Good morning! Her tail is like only slightly moving every time I say something. You see that? You're so cute! Say hi! Oh, okay. Then we get on to my reading area. And my dog is following me, so here's a quick overview. I've just got my two chairs. And people always ask why I have purple cushions when I have a blue room. And that's because I thought they would match. If they don't, let me know. I thought it'd be... Yeah. Because that way, if I got blue cushions, I feel like I'd have to get blue bed sheets. And I don't want too much blue. And I just got a blanket, because being in the basement, it gets cold. And my dog's bed. So then, my four bookshelves. The two tall ones are from Ikea. They were, I think, 60 or $70 each. And then these two little ones we got on sale at Canadian Tire for, like, $20 each. So, I'll start with the stuff on top, I guess. This is just something I got at my local grocery store. The flowers are fake because I had real flowers and they died. Yeah, so it's just an elephant holding a vase and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Then I have two books on top because I want to read those this month. That's The Selection by Kira Cass and Legend by Marie Lu. Then I have a Kobo case that I don't even use now that I got my new one. And just a pile of magazines that I haven't read in a long time. I've got some extra bookmarks. Picture frames that have fallen over. So just random picture frames. That's me and my mommy. And this is just a tin that I thought was the cutest thing ever. And for Christmas there was a cupcake mug in it. And I was like, I can't throw away the tin. So, during my giveaway, all the names will be in here, and I'll draw from there, because I thought they'd be cute. And, yeah, extra bookmarks if I didn't say that. So, I guess we'll start over here. I just have two, I think they're called Sarah's Angels, up here at the top, because I wanted to put something up there. Then, oh, all of my shelves are organized by genre. So, this is my classic shelf, and there's a couple down there, too. But I have a picture because I put like a picture frame or an object to separate each genre. So this picture frame says, A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads only lives once. Or lives only one. And that's by George R. R. Martin. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever. So I just bought a picture frame from Walmart. Bought some duct tape. And yeah, just covered it. Because these frames were only like 2 or $3. And I wanted to make them pretty. So I just bought duct tape. I did the same with this one. So, let's go through these books. I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, Dumas, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, 
Lord of the Flies by William Golding, Snow White by the Brothers Grimm, and Camille, illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia, um, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Complete Narnia uh, by C.S. Lewis, The Giver by Lewis Lowry, um, The Anne of Green Gables books by L.M. Montgomery. I haven't read them. And then I have my massive Edgar Allan Poe collection, which I still have yet to read. Um, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, the rest of my Lord of the Rings books, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, and The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Then these are my contemporary books, and that's just a picture of me, my friend, and my YTF ticket. Woo! Because, yeah, we were, that's when we were at the YTF concert, so I was like, I'm going to frame that, and I'm going to, yeah. So my contemporary books, I'm trying to make this as fast as I can, so if you want me to go through them and show you the covers, I can do that another time, section by section. Or just most of these I have yet to read, so like I said before, I can do a complete to read, like updated to be read. So I have Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, Hate List by Jennifer Brown, Summer in the City by Candace Bushnell, that's the second book in like the Carrie Diary series. Uh, My Name is Memory by Anne Brashers. I don't know if you can see that name. Um, the Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. The L.A. Candy series and the Fame Game series. So L.A. Candy, Sweet Little Lies, Sugar and Spice is the L.A. Candy series. Then it's the Fame Game, Starstruck, and there's another one that's not out yet. All by Lauren Conrad, and I've only read the first one, but they're pretty good. Skinny Dipping by Bethany Frankel, Looking for Alaska by John Green. The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. And Crank by Ellen Hopkins. Then I also have Glass and Fallout by Ellen Hopkins. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. And The Help by Catherine Stockett. Yeah, if you're wondering how I organize these, I just went on Goodreads. So if you think some of these should not be in the genre they're in, just go ahead and let me know. Um, then these are my drama books. I only have like five. Oh, that's another picture. That's a picture my dad actually took when we were on our cruise a couple years ago. We were on a different, we were on like a little boat going to the island or excursion or whatever. And my dad just turned around and took that picture. And people are like, oh, where'd you print that from? And I'm like, no, my dad took that. So, I have my V.C. Andrews books, the Flowers in the Attic series. So, Garden of Shadows, Flowers in the Attic, Petals in the Wind, If There Be Thorns and Seeds of Yesterday. Then I have My Sister's Keeper by Jody Picoult. Then, this is just a little thingy I got when I was in Chichen Itza in Mexico because it's like one of the eighth wonders of the world, so I just bought that and I thought that'd be cute. And then we start my dystopian books. Woo! So we have Eve by Anna Carey, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. If it would be better if I put on a light. Maybe, because now we're getting behind my chair. Um, Catching Fire and Walking Jay by Suzanne Collins. The Match Trilogy, so Match, Cross, and Reached by Ali Condi. The Divergent series by Veronica Ross, so Divergent Insurgent. And the Uglies series by Scott Westerfield. So Uglies, Pretty, Specials, and Extras. And then I just have this cute little precious moments. I don't know where I got it from. But then we move on to the fantasy books. And guys, I have so many fantasy books. So, Starcrossed by something Angelini. Josephine Angelini. Um, the Gathering and the Calling by Kelly Armstrong. And Dressed in Blood by Kendra Blake. The Nine Lives of Chloe King by Liz Brashnell. I don't know. Let's get you back in there. Ah. It's so hard to be organized. Um, All I Need by Rebecca Kerrigan and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. And then going all the way down to the bottom shelf, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, so the Infernal Devices series, then the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and City of Lost Souls. Then the next one's kind of dark, but it's the Elixir series by Hilary Dopp, so it's Elixir and Devoted. Then the next one's kind of dark too, but it's Beasley by Alex Flynn, and that's the Deluxe Edition. Then I have Beautiful Darkness and Beautiful Chaos by uh, Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Ugh. Then Ruby Red by Kristen Gere. Wake by Amanda Hawking, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by, um, Michelle Hodkins, sorry, 
um, Juliet Immortal by Stacey J, Elemental by Anthony John, because I won that, and it's signed, and Grave Mercy by Robin LaFears, sure, and I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. Yep, then we can move on to this shelf. Still fantasy books, we have my two Vampires Academy books, which is the first and the fifth, so Vampire Academy and Spiritbound, then Cinder by Marissa Meyer, then my Twilight series, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, obviously. <sighs> then we have my Immortal series, which is Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, and Dark Flame. I've only read the first three, and there's six. So, then I have His Dark Endeavor by Kenneth Opal. Nevermore by James Patterson. I have my Aragon series by Christopher Paolini. So it's Aragon, Eldest, Brissinger, and Inheritance, which is down here. Defiance by CJ Redwine. Bleeding Violet by D. Reeves. Revis? Still don't know. This Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Dark Visions by L.J. L. Smith. The Forbidden Game by L.J. Smith. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, Shivering Forever by Maggie Steve Otter, Deadly Little Games by, ooh, um, whoa, Lori Beria Stores, sorry, um, Daughter Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor and Partials by Dan Wells, that's just me and my friend at one of my friend's birthday parties, um, then we have Getting On all fours to look at this. The Murder of Princess Diana by Noel Goth Botham. I know I haven't read it. The Born the Stripe Pajamas by John Boyne. Fantastic. Um, Titanic by Rupert Matthews and The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. And then we just have a cute little angel. Oh, these are my <laughs> historical books. I forgot to mention that fantasy ended. Yeah, these are my mystery books. So I have Damaged by Pamela Kalau, The Devil and Me by J.D. Carpenter, Haunt Me Still by Jennifer Carol Lee, The Stranger by Max Fry, Paper Towns by John Green. Yeah, that said it was a mystery, but I wasn't sure. The Hypnotist by Lars Kepler, uh, The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Steve Larson, Shutter Island by Dennis Lehane, Envy by Greg Olson, Until the End by Christopher Pike, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, Wanted by Sarah Shepard, and all the wrong questions, who could that be at this hour? By Lemony Snicket. And then that's just me and my friend. Yes, that's Sonia. Go subscribe to her. Um, then what? Then we have nonfiction. Woo! Ha! Huh. Chicken soup for the soul. Um, I can't believe my dog did that, so that's by various authors. Blood Secrets by Rob Englart and Kathy Passero. And Frank, the Diary of a Young Girl by, I think it's again Frank, but I think there's somebody else too. Yeah, it's Anne Frank, I guess. Um, Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. Um, In With the Devil by James Keane. The Book of Awesome and the Book of Even More Awesome by Neil Pasricha. And Night by Ali Vizel. And then Another Angel. <sighs> Guys, this is exhausting. What a talking. Then we move on to my paranormal books. And yes, there are a freaking heck load of those. So we have Halo and Hades or Hades by Ooh, how did I forget her name? It was on the top of my head. Angelina, I think. Adonetto. Um, I have my House of Night series. So by PC and Kristen Cass, marked, betrayed, chosen, untamed, hunted, tempted, burned, awakened, destined, and hidden. And yes, I took all the book jackets off of them because I think they look better like this. And then I have my Nightshade Wolfsbane and Blood Rose Trilogy by Andrea Kremer. I have my Hush Hush Crescendo Silence and Finale um, series by Becca Fitzpatrick. I have A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Hawkins. Harkins. And then I have the sequel down here, Shadow of Night. I have Hereafter by Jennifer Hudson. There's a general. Tara Hudson! Tara Hudson. I have my Fallen series, which is Fallen, Torment, Passion, and Rapture by Lauren Kate. I have The Taker by Alma Kitsu. I have Dark Angel by Eden McGuire. I have my Thirst series, which is just Thirst number one through four by Christopher Pike. 
I also have Witch World by Christopher Pike. Then I have the Night World number one and Night World number two by L.J. Smith. And then going all the way up here, I have the third one. And I have Between by Ooh Jessica Warman. Yeah. And then Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly, which I have yet to read, but I saw somebody reading it. Then I have this cute little thing that says, Hope is the dream that awakens the soul. I love that. Oh, I didn't even show you what's on my walls. I have this quote that says, Live well, laugh often, and love much. And then I have the chandelier from Walmart. So, back to the books. Now we have my romance books. Some of these I was very surprised they put in romance, but you know, I wasn't going to doubt Goodreads. Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. Um, Beach Coming at Miramar by Richard Bode. That Summer by Sarah Dessen. The Living Beach by... Silver Donald Cameron, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Duff by Cody Keplinger, uh, Mini Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, Beautiful Disaster by J.B. McGuire, Ten Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have by Sarah Milanowski, Before I Fall by Lorna Oliver, and In the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood, I'll Be There by Holly Good Goldberg Sloan, then we have my Nicholas Sparks books, which is A Walk to Remember, The Best of Me, The Last Song, The Lucky One, the Notebook and Safe Haven. I've only read two of them. And then Easy by Tamara Webber, and that's just me and my brother from Halloween years ago. Many, many years ago. Um, then these are my science fiction books, and then we're almost done. So I have Tempest by Julie Cross, the Maze Runner series. Yeah, because it's not a trilogy because there's a prequel. By James Dashner, so The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure. I have Weather by Lauren De Stefano. I have Plague by Michael Grant. Yes, I know it's not the first one. I have my Game of Thrones series, which is by George R. R. Martin, the same guy that wrote that quote. Um, and so that's a Game of Thrones, A Feast for Crows, A Storm of Swords, and A Clash of Kings. Then I have just this book I found somewhere in my house, which is The Secret Under My Skin by Janet McNaughton. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, um, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. And then I just have this other quote we printed that says, We read to know that we are not alone. I loved that. Then we get into the last category, which is the thriller books. And then we're like, all done. Whew. And my camera doesn't tell me how long it's been, so I'm hoping you guys are bored to death because I've been talking as fast as I can. So... Another V.C. Andrews book, My Sweet Audrina, Trust Your Eyes by Linwood Barclay. Fantastic book. Go check it out. I have a review on it, actually. Dinner Live by Tom Clancy. Horns by, Jorn, uh, by Joe Hill. Then I have my Stephen King books, which are like my pride and joy. Um, Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub. Carrie by Stephen King. It by Stephen King. Then... Uh, Misery by Stephen King. The Shining by Stephen King. And The Wind Through the Keyhole by Stephen King. And then my last three books are the Dan Wells series, the John Cleaver trilogy, which is I am not a serial killer, Mr. Monster, and I don't want to kill you. And yes, that is me. My family thinks it's the funniest picture in the world. But yeah, I thought it was cute, so I framed it. So that is my bookshelves. Yeah. So you all wanted to see it, and I can see it. When I reorganize it, I will probably do another one because I reorganize it constantly. So sorry for having so many books. <laughs> um, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed my bookshelf tour, and I'm sure eventually, because I don't know if I like the way it's set up right now, I find it harder to find books. Um, then I'll probably reorganize it, and then if you guys want, I'll do an updated one, probably in a couple months after I buy some more books, because that will probably happen. So thanks again for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, um, like, comment, subscribe, rate, I don't know. Um, don't forget me and my friends on it. Also take requests on video topics or things you want us to talk about. Um, and yeah, my hair. So thanks again, and I love you all very, very much. Good luck to all of you on the giveaway. And I'll be doing another one at 300, which is very quickly approaching. So if you don't win this one, chances are you'll probably win the next one. Because then I'll probably pick a lot more winners. Like I'll probably do like six winners or something. I don't know. I don't like the idea of just picking one. So, especially when there's so many of you. So, thanks again. I'm going to stop talking and have a great day.